My uh, my uncle passed here last summer. My dad's bro my dad's older brother. He just died before he hit 80. What was it, like two weeks before his birthday? Yeah, two weeks before. Two weeks before his birthday. My dad's going to read a poem that he wrote. We're in uh, Lake Michigan. My uncle was a big boat nut, just like myself. We uh, were about 10 miles out. We launched at Portage. Now he's going to read a poem from him. And then he's going to throw one of his wrenches in the lake. Talk loud. Talk loud. What? Michael Alexander. I don't know. What do you mean? You're being filmed. The American Altar Boy. Oh, okay. Well, talk loud. Okay. The American Altar Boy. The poem is Mother's Lavender Lilacs. The lilacs are always on time. Despite the cold, despite the rain, despite the grayness, despite the pain, despite your mood, despite my mood, despite our best intentions, despite our worst thoughts, to quit or to continue forward, despite everything to the contrary, press on regardless. The lilacs are always on time. Each spring, despite each ending of cruel April, always on time. In mother's arms, on mother's grave, lavender lilacs. A small thanks for her many loves when lilacs last in her arms full. And the great western star early drooped in the night. We mourned and yet shall mourn with the ever returning spring, ever returning spring, family, but sure to weep you bring. Lilac blooming, perennial, and drooping star to the west, and thought of her and her quiet love and thought of her and her favorite color, love. The lilacs are always on time. And Mike, the uh, American altar boy, gave thanks to Walt Whitman for his poem, When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Blue. All right, All right now somebody explain what, I already explained We're just throwing it. a souvenir of Mike's out to Mike's out to him. Mike is buried at the uh, uh, Navy base in Waukegan, or what is it? You know, I can't think of it. My mind is just like running blank here. Uh, it's in Waukegan, right? <laughs> Anyway, Fort Sheridan. Fort Sheridan. Fort Naval Sheridan, that's ceremony. it. He was built, uh, <clears throat> buried with full military honors. He was a Navy fighter pilot, and we miss him dearly. Oh. Nice little splash. Right towards Chicago. You can see Chicago oh, I there. Missed it. I was trying to stay out of the camera. Mike and my dad are both Vietnam vets. Mike was what, a year and a half older than you? Uh, yeah, 18 months older than me. Chicago. Chicago. And Al, our next brother, was, was also uh, in Vietnam. He and I were there together. All right, now we're going to head to Chicago for a bit, then we're going to go home. Are we going to Chicago? Yeah, just for a little bit. Well, we're not going to go all the way.